For years, business leaders have complained that American schools are no longer producing enough scientists and engineers. In fact, according to the Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, U.S. students rank 17th in science and 25th in math. We need to do something to expose the kids right from like six on up through high school so that they understand what being an engineer or a, a mathematician is all about. Stevens is the global chief technology officer for General Motors and he is passionate about the high school robotics competition known as FIRST. This year hundreds of teams and thousands of students made their way to St. Louis where the finals were conducted in the same stadium where the NFL Rams play football. I'm on team 548, the Robo Stangs from Northville, Michigan. And I'm on team 3132, the Thunder Down Under from Sydney, Australia. While it is a competition, great friendships have been made. For instance, the team from Northville High worked hard to make sure their sister team from Australia made it to these finals. Listen to what you just heard behind me. The screaming and cheering. It sounds like a football game on a Friday night. That is what we're trying to do here with FIRST, trying to get that energy and excitement, a different way of celebrating, a different team sport. And it's a sport where every participant has a chance to turn pro. I honestly didn't want anything to do with technology. I thought it was too confusing, complicated. But now after spending three years in first robotics with my team, it changed my vision completely. I plan to attend Michigan State University for a mechanical engineering degree. Hopefully, experiences like that and the nearly 150 colleges that are offering scholarships to first robotics students will make science and engineering exciting again. I'm Emily Wright.